oh my god guys <laughs> we've been in spain all of five minutes and we've already caused carnage <laughs> So we were hitting the border between Andorra and Spain <laughs> and the guy in the booth goes, do you want a stamp in your passport? I was like, no, no, we just, we go, innit? We, I want to be inconspicuous, I just want to go through. Me. So I'll, yeah, yeah I love a stamp. stamp. I'm like, all right, okay. So anyway, <laughs> after a couple of minutes of waiting, and I'm noticing he's not stamping the book. No. He goes, can you pull over to the side? I was like, oh, here we go. Then I get the daggers and the see, told you, shouldn't have started on about a stamp. And I was like, but it's the thing to do. You, you have to have your book stamped. So we pulls over to the side, wait in a few more minutes and the two Spanish police come over. <laughs> and what they were concerned about was that when we came into Andorra, we didn't get a stamp. And I was like, no, I said, we went to give our passports to him. And he went, no, no, go. So naturally we went. So I explained that to him. He's like, yeah, it's fine. You can go. So we guessed through that. <laughs> then we, then we hit, hit nothing to declare. No, yeah, nothing to declare. <laughs> Guess pulled again. <laughs> so it pulls over, pulls me out. I have to open up all the lockers on the van for them to check everything. He was happy. We got through fine. Right. So we've got through both of them. We've headed down to a little town called... La Sue de Ugel. So we get into the town. We literally just arrive and there's an alleyway and Stu has to creep by some construction traffic. Next thing, he goes round the roundabout the wrong way. <laughs> the guy's seen us, went, whoa, 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 <laughs> stop, stop, you went wrong way. We were like, we know. We know. <laughs> we know we're on the wrong way. Yes, I made a boo-boo. <laughs> where you where you going? Where you going? Wasn't it? Yeah, so we explained where we were going and he was saying our oh, roads are tight, but to be honest, you, we it got here fine. That. It weren't that, it was when he went, give me five minutes and I'll get in my car and I'll follow you to make sure you can drive there all right. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I'd be driving on the right side of the road for a week, not a single problem. Yeah. I said, I got thrown because of where his van was. I had to go out left to go around him, but because I started going left, Natural instinct just kicked in. It was hilarious. The next minute then, Amelia's in the back going, Mom, I feel sick, so I'm throwing her a bowl. There's a policeman in the road. She's being sick in the back. We're going through tight-ass bends. And <laughs> it's not even 10 o'clock in the morning yet. No. <laughs> no coffee, nothing, no. is it? But welcome to Spain. <laughs> 48 hours later. Okay, so after our disasters of cleaning up sick and going round roundabouts the wrong way <laughs> um, and ending up in an air that just wasn't particularly suitable for us, we did our first night on a brand new air um, that had electric there ready, but unfortunately it wasn't hooked up, was it? No, it was a brand new site, lovely and clean. We'll drop the th what three words in now for you. I had a local village, which we did go and have a little look around and the kids had a little play in the park. Unfortunately, what we're finding is everything is constantly shut. <laughs> Siesta time here is from nine in the morning till five at night. Yeah, and then it's like party place, isn't it? Yeah. Don't things get really loud? Yeah, like they'll start playing a football match at 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, and one night it was 10 o'clock, wasn't it? So for our second night in Spain, we drove south again and we stayed on another free air. Now this say we actually had free electric, yep. free Elson, free grey water, yep. free fresh water. It was like a CL site, but it was just completely free. Yep. And again, we'll drop the what three words in now. It was right on an outskirts of a town. Um, but it was actually quite close to a nuclear power station as well, wasn't it? Which we didn't realise until we drove off the following morning and you just seen this big cooling tower and then a sign, nuclear. Yeah, we weren't too thrilled with that, were we? No. <laughs> but in fairness, we didn't really bother us until we left. We had to look around the local town again. It was shut. Um, we managed to get involved with the game of football, the kids and some local Spanish children, which was lush. They played for about half an hour, kicking the ball about amongst themselves. None of them could speak to each other, um, but it was great because they seemed to understand each other. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, fab. they had fun. It, yeah. was, it was nice. <laughs> we joined in and had a game and I nearly broke my toe. Uh, no, we tried joining in and having a game. <laughs> we were just a bunch of out of breath hippos running across the artificial grass. I did save the ball though, I saved a goal. You did save a goal, but I, I broke a toe in the, for two in the days. meantime. <laughs> but yeah, it was fun. It was it? a good save. 
Beato paid the price. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so after leaving that air, we headed about 20 miles south again, didn't we? Yes. Um, and we found a caravan and camping club site. So we went on to that for the night. Unfortunately, the pool that was there wasn't open. Um, and it did nothing but rain, did it? No, but we went up, we had to go on to this side. It was shower time, we had laundry, so... It was right on the beach though, so we were really excited about it. Um, but we did end up having a cheeky meal at the restaurant, didn't we? We did, yeah. It was nice too, wasn't oh, it? Oh, and that site actually, we'll drop the three words below as well for that one, because they offered you four free drinks on entry. Yeah, so however many people you pay for to enter that site, on entry you get that number of drinks for free. Yeah, well happy with that, weren't we? <laughs> so, we are now at... Camping Player Tropicana. So this is a really nice campsite. There's a lot of nice statues here though, isn't there? <laughs> there is, as the boys keep pointing out. They've, we'll show you in a bit. They've learned a little bit about anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> you bastard, look at my back! We just got a car has just driven oh. past us, <laughs> driven through those puddles there, <laughs> and soaked us. <laughs> oh, what a git! I'm soaked. I feel like I've wet myself. <laughs> Blimmin' You got oh. as good and proper. Right, let's go. <laughs> let's go get dried off. <laughs> this is our pitch. It is massive. And there's parrot here and your park Hi. and a uh, beach. Come on then, should we go show them? Yeah. You got some statues. <laughs> you can already hear them. Yeah. There's also some budgies. Yeah, some budgies. And the, so the green ones that okay, you'll see, on. I have one oh. little cat, well, not those ones, and I have a blue one. I'll go and show you the parrots first. quite overhead. Mother nature is awesome, isn't it? Yeah. And as the storm's passing, look at this gorgeous rainbow. Lush. Let's hope for a better day tomorrow. Good morning. This morning, we decided we may be moving on. But we have a slight problem because we've got no towels left, so we need to do some laundry. On site, they wouldn't accept anything other than euros. Cash. Hmm. So we've gone and walked for the best part of an hour to get to the local town. 
for a cash point machine. What happened, man? That, do you want to explain? No, not really. So, we end up sitting on a bench because we're all knackered, me and the kids, mind. Stu says, oh, I'll carry on. He goes off up to uh, get to gets the cash point. He hasn't bought his bloody wallet. <laughs> oh, well. The plan was, I was going to do the laundry and get everything spick and span, and these guys could go swimming quickly before we had to get off site. I've just saved us about eight euros and made everyone walk about five miles, so everyone's had their exercise. Yeah. Win-win. So yeah, we've had a walk around the town. Don't get me wrong, look at these beautiful views. You've all had your exercise for the day, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> we got about another half hour to walk back and obviously the swimming pool's already open so it depends how quick we get back now is how long they get in the pool Everybody run. can't believe it <laughs> Lane, like closest to the drop. <laughs> That's true. No, we're never driving on the inside, do we? No. Let's risk your life. You will never regret the things that we'll do. Cause I Again, if we the other side. Oh well, it should be the end of it because I, my nerves are shot. In a car, that would be absolutely fine. In the bus, yeah, not so much. No, it's a lack of space, isn't it, that was available that didn't help. Man, that's just brought us to a site. Look at where we are. <laughs> Beachfront location. And there's a gate just there for us to go and enjoy all of that. But first things first, Barcelona. And the only way we're getting there is by a bus stop. So we better go find it. We're tamping. Again. <laughs> so we've just walked 10 minutes to the bus stop. We want to get a bus down into Barcelona. We did another 10 minutes for said bus, bus cross, comes. Cross some dodgy roads as well, to be fair. Yeah. So we get on the bus, and I see a wireless symbol in it for card. So kids get on, child gets on, I sit at the front ready to pay, I guess my card out, driver, cash only. Yeah, everyone on the bus is wearing a face mask, so that implied they wouldn't want to handle cash. Well, I'm not that I'm, matters anyway. I mean, don't get me wrong, we haven't been on a lot of buses over the years but over the last six months we've been on a few haven't we and they've all taken card what can you do cash point on site it says out of service so we're gonna go try reception and the shop to see if this i don't even know if cash back exists in spain to be honest to with you i'm at a point i just want to get out of spain yeah i'm not gonna lie it's i've tried to we've tried to make the best of it haven't we haven't we? Yeah. Come on, let's be honest. Yeah. We don't like it, do we? Nah. Not for us. No, I'm quite happy to get in the motor Love home, France. actually. And just drive out here today. Because I'm so tamping. It feels like, no matter what we've tried in Spain, it's just gone tits up. <laughs> Haven't it? Yeah. Everything's gone tits up. Yeah. We love France. But let's go back to France. Yeah, I think even the kids have had a guts full. Other than the swimming. Yeah. 
it's um so anyway it's rained the whole time that doesn't help does it we've got a lush beach front. can't help the weather we yeah, got a stunning pitch yeah. but for now let's go see if we can get some cash what's the verdict she told me if i get the app if i get the app what app uh, the bus, local bus company's app. Yeah. I should be able to buy tickets on the app yeah. with my card. So the man bet managed to get some tickets on the app that we were just told to get, which was this one. A bus has come and... He won't even take the tickets. Look, so I've spent about 15 euros buying tickets. T yeah. And we've gone again to get on the bus, I've shown him. Not cash only, five euro. So that's two buses, 15 euros down. Not impressed. No, about an hour wasted at the bus stop. And quite frankly, I think we both just had a guts full now, haven't we? I don't know what to do for the best, whether to... I got sterling. Yeah, we won't have that either. <laughs> and I got cards. What do you want to do, love? Should we give Barcelona I'll... a skip? Or... Well, the next bus is due within the next few minutes, the 94, so I'm going to wait for that and try one more time. And I'll talk to him. I'll be like, I have bought it on your app. It's a ticket. Take me. Yeah, but if it. We only. The thing is, we can't even get any money. That's the best part. We I need to go into money. Barcelona to get cash. Everywhere we have tried to get cash for the last couple of days, we simply haven't been able to, have we? No. We managed to get on a bus. The lady didn't recognise the tickets we bought. Um, but kindly let us jump on the bus for free. We've then managed to miss the stop we were supposed to get off at. And this lovely Spanish lady informed us that this was the last stop and we had to get off anyway. We've got no idea where we are in Barcelona. We've literally just landed. Well, there's no shops about from what I can see. So we'll figure it out. it's gonna be fun. Luckily, we've got Google Maps in there. Fine. We've come all the way to Barcelona in the hunt for coconuts. So they've gone in, and I'm hoping they're going to come out with some, because this is the biggest fruit shop I've seen so far. I got a lovely bunch of coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> got a coconut? Yes. Yeah, boy. Yeah, can I? How long have we searched for these, guys? Put it in there. Hold your to... coconuts. <laughs> How much you get? Three. Three. Taller. <laughs> oh, well, I'll fun doing them after. Yeah. This is one massively busy city. We're going to head over there. There's some sort of palace up ahead. But I like these two uh, towers. They're cool. I don't know exactly what they are, because I'm honest, I haven't actually researched it that much. I only found out we were coming here yesterday. Do you know what any of these things are? They are very old buildings here in Barcelona. All around us. Well done, that's really educational. <laughs> yep. Gosh, that's a massive fountain, isn't it? Yeah, none of the fountains are turned on though. No. We're not special enough. Well, to be fair, we didn't give them any warning we was coming, no. otherwise I'm sure they would have been turned on. <laughs> There's a fountain that's on. They have laid one on for us. <laughs> Let's go have a look. Yay! Look a little bit half bothered that we're here. Yeah, it was a take it or leave it. Yeah. <laughs> so that fountain is the one that would have been nice if it was on, but because of all this um, mesh and metal around it, I'm assuming for whatever reason it's uh, out of order. That was huge. Yeah. They've also got them um, across the road leading up. I'd have really liked to have seen that up and run in. Yeah, it would have been impressive, that wouldn't would it? Because really the, just the sheer size of it, I'll show you now. So these are the four columns of Barcelona and they were erected in the early 1900s to represent the Society of Catalans, uh, which were trying to become an independent nation within Spain. And these were erected early 1900s. Now, a few years after they were erected, they actually, Spain actually became a dictatorship and they removed any symbols of Catalans. So these actually got taken back down. 
and obviously then re-erected later on. But these are your four columns and in the back you have the Palace of Barcelona. So that was our very brief tour of Barcelona. What do you think, babe? Yeah, there's some history here. <laughs> It's, it's like anywhere, isn't it? You know, you go down into the main centre, it's very, very busy. There's a lot of people on electric bikes and scooters. Oh, they love their scooters in, over here, don't they? Yeah. And they're, yeah. But you come off just a little bit off to the side, you just find beautiful things yeah. like you see in the background. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, we love the history of cities, don't we? Yeah. But we're going to go get on a bus. Oh, yeah, if we can. We've, we've got, got money. We've got cash. Hey. <laughs> so we're going to go get on a bus, head back to the campsite now, and chill for the rest of the day. Following day. It's a good spot, isn't it, love? It's pretty nice. Can't right on it. the Balearic Sea. Yeah, and you've got three, like, is it 360 or 180 views of the sea? Let's go 240. Pretty impressive anyway. <laughs> that is pretty, it's very pretty. Excuse me if I'm squinting, I've got the sun right in my eye and yeah I am gloating because we've had rains in Spain for about four days. So the first day of sun and blue sky. <laughs> we are landed today. You've got yeah. blue sky, bright green palm trees, which I couldn't appreciate the other day because of the clouds and the rain. So we hope you've enjoyed our video. We've had quite a few of you requesting us to do a live. Yeah. Which we are thinking about. We're a little bit nervous. Thank you for all the support. We've had quite a few new subscribers recently as well. So we'd just like to say welcome to the channel. Yes. Uh, we hope we haven't put you off yet. <laughs> and if you haven't already and you are new to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and drop us a comment. It really helps the channel grow. And you know, some of the some of the comments we find really, really helpful, don't we? Because you know, yeah. it's obviously ways we can improve, things we can do differently. And some of you have already done Europe, so you're passing That's on it. your experience to it's us. The things we literally and don't brilliant. know and it's helped. So yeah. we appreciate all of that. So thank you very much. Thank you guys. But until next time. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> so, <all right> guys. <laughs>